This is Kelly. She's Irish. This is Rambod. He's Persian. In 36 hours, they will get married in San Diego, where we'll see a bedazzled bridal table, dance with a wild Irishman, and watch a knife dance where Rum showers his sister with cash. Check, check, check! A check! A check! A check! There are a lot of regions in the world that are Catholic. There are a lot of regions in the world that are Muslim. But there is only one Persian culture, and there's only one Irish culture. We are more influenced by our culture than our religion. We used to have a saying, be a boss, date a boss, build an empire. Uh, I'm definitely a boss, and she's a boss, and uh, <laughs> we're building a beautiful empire, and I'm excited. <laughs> The best part of bringing two cultures together is that you can bring the best of the two cultures and the things mm -hmm. that are the most important to you, and you can combine them. And I think it makes the event not just richer, but more unique. We love to dance. We love to dress up. So if you ever go to a Persian wedding or you're invited to a Persian wedding, it's dress literally up. black tie. Yes, They dress just up. won't say black tie. If you show up in a sundress or in a polo shirt and slacks, no, 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 no. <laughs> it wouldn't work. <laughs> I'm very proud of, you know, being Persian and that culture is a dramatic uh, influence on my life as far as who I am and, you know, where my heritage comes from. I think my family is going to love and be very excited about the Persian traditions that they're going to see, just as I was when I first saw them. The centerpiece of a Persian wedding is the Sofra Aqd. The word Sofra means spread, and Aqd means wedding. The smeared table of wonders takes four hours to put together and is unlike anything you've ever seen. Every item on it stands for a different blessing, including a mirror for brightness and eternity, candles for energy and clarity, eggs and nuts for fertility and abundance, and heavenly fruits for a joyous future. And to balance out Rum's Persian opulence is Kelly's Irish charm. The horseshoe is one of my favorite incorporations of the Irish culture. You have to hold the horseshoe upright too. It has to be facing the shape of a U because if it faces the other way, it also is bad luck that your luck will run out. Other Irish tokens are revealed on Kelly's outfit. There's an Irish tradition. It's a sixpence, which is like an old Irish penny before they converted to the euro. And you're supposed to put it in your left shoe for good luck and good fortune. The clattering is a symbolism of love and loyalty. I will have a clatter pinned to my garter. It's so powerful because the saying behind it, which I actually have as a tattoo in Irish, is let friendship and love reign above all. And I think that just shows a lot of what Irish culture is. The couple takes a seat in front of the sofra, the bedazzled table. Tavor silta fir specialta. The kala qand, or sugar shower, is a sweet welcome for this Persian Irish crowd. The bride and groom sit, and there's a cloth held above their head, and different female family members and close friends will come and grind the sugar on top of the veil, and as the sugar flakes are coming down, they're supposed to sweeten their marriage and their life. The couple also lights a unity candle. While we are each individuals, together now we come and we create a stronger, more powerful force. Grev an vanakt arav, is galina she ne lehen teriva. The most sensual Persian tradition is the asal, or honey exchange. Honey symbolizes sustenance and also the fact that they will be bringing sweetness into each other's lives. Rambod, I would like you to take this asa on your little finger and share it with your bride, Kelly. Kelly, you do the same for Rambod. 
by the power vested in me by the state of California, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. The sugar high from tying the knot fuels the raksachagu, a playful knife dance, which encourages the wedding party to make it rain. Usually the sister of the groom dances with the knife that the bride and the groom are going to cut their cake with. My mom always had a saying, celebrate everything. Not just your cultural stuff, just celebrate life and celebrate happiness. Kelly and Rum will continue to build their empire through celebrating love, friendship, and with a new addition to their family. Speaking of growing our family. What? Wait, what? <laughs> Everyone is already asking when we're going to have kids. And the answer is, not yet. <laughs> However, I do have a surprise for my husband. Meet the newest addition of our family. Wait, what? Get out! Congrats, Rem and Kelly, and welcome, Snoop.